and welcome to another Unity programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I will going to teach you how you can grab somebody else's code that's out there on the internet, and then you can use it so that you do not have to reinvent the wheel. The main purpose of today's example is to learn how you can move your mouse 360 degree on the plane, and how you can zoom in and zoom out with the help of arrow keys plus the mouse. Remember in the last tutorial, I taught you that how you can go under the edit menu, and you can go under the project settings and you can click on the input that gives you the list of all of these different um, properties that belongs to Axis. And as you can see here in the list that we use horizontal and vertical in our last example, but we also have mouse X, mouse Y, mouse scroll wheel. So we allow it allows us to use all of these different entities right within our code. In order to do this example, what I will going to do is I will going to go back to my main camera and I will going to add a component to it, which will going to be a script. So we're going to be adding a new script. We're going to call this script mouse movement script. And now I will going to double click on it to load it in Visual Studio. So now that my script is in Visual Studio, I will going to simply switch over to this website which I've already opened it's called the wiki.unity3d.com and this is where the code is available for JavaScript the code is available for C sharp and the code is available for boo now I'm gonna be grabbing the code for the C sharp since I have my class created I'm gonna grab everything in the body of the class I'm gonna paste it right here so I'm gonna replace this code with that code now there's some components of this code that I want to go over so, so that you have some understanding of this. There are some public variables over here and these public variables will going to allow us to change their values right from Unity. One extra thing that after we are done putting this code and saving it behind the scene, we have a transform target. This transform target allows us to link this particular script with an object on the plane so that we can rotate around that particular object. So that's one thing about this script is that it ties the camera to one particular object on the plane. If you come down, one of the things that we're using here in the start, we're using transform Euler angle. So what Euler angle is, Euler angle is a built-in object that allows you to look at the X, Y, and Z angles. After we read those Euler angles in a vector three object angles, we will then going to uh, grab the X and the Y because we don't want to change Z we want to go 360 degrees around so we don't want to be changing Z we only want to be moving on X and Y so that's what we get on the start so if the rigid body is not equals to null then we will going to keep the freeze rotation to true now we will going to come down in the late update method and in the late update method we will going to record the mouse X and mouse Y and based on these formulas, we're going to change the values of x and y variables. And similarly, you will be able to grab mouse scroll wheel object, and we will going to tie it to the mathf.clamp method. So you, all of these methods that are used over here, if you really want to know about their details, you can certainly go to the Unity help, and that's where you can learn about their details. But I'm just giving you a gist of how this is being done. There, are, there is a built-in method. There are some user-defined method, like here we are creating another method called clamp angle, which will going to constantly allow us to move 360 degrees one way and then move the 360 degrees the other way. So that's why you have negative and the positive 360 degrees. So you can move clockwise or counterclockwise around the object and then return the angle back so it can be set. After saving the changes over here, I will going to be switching back to my Unity environment here and now I'm going to be tying the object in the inspector of the main camera. So here I am. Here you can see in the target it says nobody is tied. So I can click on it and say I want to tie this camera to a cube. And now I will going to run it. Now running it, notice I could use my mouse and voila, it's beautiful. I can rotate around. I could zoom in. I could zoom out using my scroll wheel and it is beautiful that how it let me control with the help of mouse in this one we have not added any keyboard events it's just the mouse ones but it is a beautiful example that lets you control your camera using the mouse 
I've done an example with you earlier in another tutorial with keyboard and this is the mouse one. Hope you would have enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.